We're pleased to be joined right now by the general manager of that football team entering his 15th year, second longest tenured GM in the league, and most important, uh, first GM to ever make a repeat appearance here on the Insiders. It's John Schneider. John, how are we doing out there? How are we looking? How are the 24, 24 Seahawks coming along? It's going great. Last day of OTAs and uh, beautiful weather out here. So you guys would love it. It's, it's an awesome day on the lake on Lake Washington today. You know, John, and thanks for joining us. By the way, one of the great things that you guys get to do this spring is, you know, you spend all this time on draft picks, you do all the research, you do all the interviews, and then you take them, and then you get to actually watch them do football things, which I imagine is a pretty cool thing. You guys took Byron Murphy in the third round. and the third round. You guys took Byron Murphy in the first round. There you go. Uh, what have you seen from him early on? And I guess the other part of this, were you a little surprised that he was actually available for you to take him there? Yeah, I mean, especially in the third round uh, when he slipped, it was incredible. <laughs> no, we thought he was going to slip, but not, not not that much. But, uh, no, he, he's, 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 he's been great. Uh, he's really showed up as a, as a pro. You know, he's come in and and uh, really worked his tail off, taken to the coaches, uh, wants to learn, wants to learn from, you know, Jay Reed and, and uh, Leonard Williams and, you know, it's just exciting. He's, he's a hard worker. And then all, all, all the, you know, things you see on film, the initial quickness and the leverage and getting up and down the line of scrimmage and penetration and all that stuff is, it's been great. Obviously we're not in pads. So, uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been impressive so far. So we're excited. There I am. My turn to ask a question, I guess, John. So I'm going to ask you about your head coach because you've now had pretty much a full spring of Mike McDonald. We're still in the honeymoon phase. I hope it's going beautifully for you too. Uh, and I know it was it was a great match during the interview process. What has maybe surprised you pleasantly about him that maybe you didn't know you were getting that you've seen over the last couple of months? Well, he's got a unique ability to uh, you know have fun and and you know be engaging and and uh, have a great time and then you know have a have a fun conversation and then be serious and concise you know in the next in the next uh, part of the conversation. And so he has a he has a, a unique ability to uh, uh, really be clear and concise with his thoughts, and and uh, he knows what he wants. And you know, it, we're learning each other, and he's learning himself. He's learning the team. We're all the whole building's here to support him, and and uh, and his new coaching staff. And so it, it's been it's been fun. It's been challenging and exciting. And you know, the draft process with those guys was great because you know the coaching staff was implementing all new systems and. and uh, programs and everything along with you know combining their their ability to uh you know evaluate and and, and you know get to know us and our systems and, and what we had in place here already so they've done a great job it's, it's exciting john when we talked to you back at the combine you made the point of hey we've only drafted two quarterbacks in my time here as the GM, we want to change that, you said at the time. Ian, right now, the wheels are spinning. He's trying to think of the second name, and he still doesn't have it, even though we gave him the answer last time. That's you didn't right. draft the right. quarterback remember. this year, but after we had that conversation, you did acquire a young quarterback in Sam Howell. Mike McDonald's made very clear, Geno is the starter. But tell me about Sam Howell and what this year and beyond looks like in terms of how you're trying to develop him moving forward. Well, first of all, from an acquisition standpoint, I'd have to say, you know, I, I give our staff a, a ton of credit. We sat here on a, a Saturday afternoon uh, studying, and, uh, you know, we were, we were going through the board, and we, we were kind of like, you know, wow, there's a, there's a situation where, you know, six of these quarterbacks could go before we pick. And, you know, Drew, Drew had moved on, Drew Locke, great guy, moved on to go with the, with the Giants, and uh, it was at that point where we decided to get, you know, real aggressive with the Redskins and, and uh, working with Adam Peters and that group to, uh, to try to acquire Sam. And, and we knew we were competing with other teams. And Sam had a great game against us last year. He's an impressive guy, works his tail off. And obviously, Gino's done a great job as well. So we really like the two of these guys. Really like Sam's upside a lot. You know, uh, he started 18 games and you know, he's been a productive, productive player in this league. And, you know, we like his toughness and his swag. And he's got a, he's got a really cool leadership style, style about him as well, quiet and strong. That's really interesting. I was actually going to ask you if you were a little surprised that six quarterbacks went before you in in the first round of the draft, first round. Um, but it sounds like, based on the kind of what you just mentioned, the kind of forward thinking you guys do, it sounds like you were 
not only not that surprised, but had sort of prepared for it. Is that right? Yeah, we thought there was a good chance. You know, it was uh, honestly, it was a, it was kind of an exercise, uh, much like you know we did with uh, uh, John Dorsey and, and Reggie McKenzie and, and, and Ted back in in Green Bay. Like, you know, there's a chance. You know, I know that was closer to the draft, but there's a chance Aaron Rodgers could, you know, make it to us. And, you know, if it's, if he's not picked right away, you know, there has to be like four or five teams. And we just did all these different exercises to go through it. And so it was it was very similar to that, you know, uh, experience that we had together in Green Bay. And, and uh, yeah, they, they, they were, those guys were, uh, at the end of the day, they, they were all hot and, um you know, we had a great visit with Bo. Obviously, we knew Penix real well, J.J. McCarthy. So we had a great feel for all these guys. And, you know, we were like, well, if we like them, everybody else is going to like them too. So, uh, <laughs> you yeah, know, we, we better get on it here. You know, John, as we sit here, there, there's still three months to go. It's not like you guys are a finished product by any stretch uh, as Absurd. far as getting towards the start of the regular season. Uh, but a lot of times you think new coach, there's going to be growing pains, right? He's trying to get things in place. The players are learning him. You guys are learning, all that stuff. But there's talent on the roster. We've seen first year coaches make the playoffs in recent memory. Brian Dabo being one of them. Uh, D'Amico Ryan's down there with the Houston Texans. So you sit there and say, like, we've got the makings of, of a contending football team right here. And you feel good about where you are from that standpoint? Yeah, yeah, we do. You know, we, we've, I think we've talked about this before, you know, we've, it's, it's very similar to when we came in here in, in, in 2010, when Pete and I came in here together. It's, it's very much a, a ongoing, everyday, how do we improve? We've never looked at this at this uh, team building deal here in, in, in Seattle as a as like a restart or a reboot or whatever, you know, a re, whatever you, people call it, um, like a rebuilding deal. It's always been like every single day, what are the steps we're taking? You know, what, what kind of acquisitions are we stacking together? What kind of player development uh, is going on, and and, uh, and the teaching and all that? So, it's it's, it's never been like um, you know like a big reset. And with with Mike and his staff, we haven't felt that either. You know, because we have so many great people in this building. You guys have been in our building, whether it's PR, equipment, sports science, you know, our training room, strength. It's a really really strong foundation. It's great great you know great people here that are here to support uh, the players and the coaches. And every single day, it's it's a uh, it's a, it's a fun process to watch. One last thing for you real quick, John, before we let you go. I've always wanted to ask you this. It, we've mentioned 15 years as the Seahawks GM. You've won a Super Bowl. You've built one of the most consistent programs in all of the NFL, all of pro sports. Do you ever get frustrated that if, you know, your kids or your friends Google your name, the top hit in every photo is still the guy who played Bo on Dukes of Hazzard? <laughs> Actually, it's funny. <laughs> I actually love it. We, we, we've become friends. Uh, we have a we have an agent that's a uh, mutual friend hooked us up several years ago. So, you know, we've, we've gotten together and had dinner and hung out when he's been in Seattle and stuff. So it's, it's a, and I grew up a huge Duke's Hazard fan. So I'm kind of like fanboy geeking out with him and he's a big football fan. So it, it's pretty fun. Now, I do not know how to manage a baseball team. I do want to get to know that guy. So uh, he's John Schneider from <laughs> yeah. Toronto. Yeah. Thing, right. So. You're still above that John Schneider. You're number two in the John Schneider Google ranking. So just yes. another Super Bowl. Convention. We'll get you to number one. We got this coming here. So keep it rolling. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure my son Jack could probably. Yeah. He, he, if I called him up, he'd probably tell me the same thing too. Yeah. You're number two, Dad. So. <laughs> John, you're the best man. Thanks a lot for coming yeah, I appreciate on. Appreciate you guys. Have a great summer, you guys. Thank you, man. All right. You too. You too.